hello everyone welcome back um i'm sorry it's been so long uh it's been a crazy year as you all know i hope everyone is doing well and taking this time to find balance within their life and um i just kind of want to revisit uh, my tarot reading that i posted on my instagram page sarah smart so at the beginning of the year i did a three card pull and i got Ace of Wands, the Six of Discs, which is success, and the Empress. Um, and I said that there was going to be a lot of breakthroughs for medical breakthroughs. Um, and that we need to balance the masculine energy with the feminine energy. So with a lot of people being in quarantine right now, um, I'm hoping that people are actually taking the time and enjoying time with their families, time with their home. You know, our homes really do have a spirit and energy about them. And I feel like we neglect our homes often. I know I do. Um, I was only laid off my part-time job. So this is my second week off in a row in a very long time. And I figured I'd take advantage of it and film today. Um, I have so much I want to like share and talk about so I may film a few different videos today and post them um, but I'm gonna start with saging the space I have this beautiful rose sage that smells so good and I love that it's pink it's gorgeous just leave that lit right here and I have this amazing singing bowl that is um, connects you to the heart energy and I've got my rose quartz partnerings in. So I'm going to start by doing a little um, meditation for you guys. So just soak in the vibrations of this heart healing singing bowl. Love that singing bowl it sounds amazing and I hope you felt that in your heart chakra and that it helps center and ground you during these times um, so since I am still working full-time um, at my other job that's considered essential um, but doesn't get the credit that it deserves for being essential, but that's a whole nother story. Um, I have not gotten to really pause and take a breath um, and like really go inward like I had hoped to, but um, I'm going to take advantage of this time um, this weekend and do that. Um, I feel like it's really important um, like I had not noted in the reading, like to really reconnect with your dreams, listen to your dreams, keep a dream journal. I know that like scientifically they're saying people are dreaming more because um, we're stressed out. And so it's our subconscious brain working overtime to uh, make sense and to try to work out the problems. Um, I don't think, you know, that that's the whole story. It may be some of the story for some people. But I also think that 
why we're all dreaming more is because the veil right now is very very thin and um our loved ones are really trying to connect with us and um show us the way forward and uh reconnect um so this time has really showed me that um i really neglect you know my home and even though i sage and um i love being at home i'm at work i'm only off four days a month usually um and when i'm off i'm out and about like i'm exploring this beautiful state i mean it's 80 degrees and sunny and gorgeous here today who wouldn't who wouldn't and springtime in arizona is absolutely stunningly beautiful it is gorgeous um but I find it really interesting that my goals for 2020 were to um, really stop being so such a consumer to, as you can see, you can see my roots are growing out. I'm, I'm going to let my, my glitter strands like show, like I don't care. I'm actually like really proud. I think it actually looks pretty good. I'm going to... I wasn't going to cut my hair this year at all. I was going to see how long I could get it to grow. And then next year, hopefully, it'll be long enough that um, I can just cut out all the, like, dyed stuff. Um, I don't want to be one of those women who does not age gracefully. Like, I want to embrace it. Um, middle age is right around the bend for me. It's right around the corner. And you know what? That's okay. I'm okay with that. Um just means more experience more knowledge and all I can say though is I'm very very happy that I'm the age I am now during all of this and that I'm not in my 20s because in my 20s I don't think I'd be able to sit still like I would be crawling up the walls but now I realize like hey like I work too much um, my life is totally out of balance um, my pets miss me, I miss my pets, my home could use a lot more of my attention, um, you know, I love my home, like, I mean, I painted the walls purple in most of the rooms, and blue, and, like, my home is beautiful, and I love it, and, um, I really want to, you know, get my energy in this home more, and, and feel comfortable, I mean, as we all should, we should all you know, take the time to feel, um, good about our home. So, um, you know, take this time, clear out closets, clear out rooms, you know, um, organize, uh, you know, scrapbook, whatever project you have been saying, I'll do later, do it now. Like I have a friend who wants to start a podcast. Now it's the perfect time. I mean, social media, like, that's what most people are doing anyway is just scrolling through and um you know I know at the beginning of this like as an empath it was so overwhelming I was mentally emotionally physically exhausted it was very painful um to be out to be at work because I felt everyone's fear I felt it like like it was my own and um you know I'm transmuted that and I'm trying to look at the positive because we can't live in fear. We can't exist in that state for too long without, you know, breaking down our immune system, uh, without becoming sick ourselves. So, um, what I've, I've been taking olive leaf extract and, um, black seed oil. I heard those are really good, um, antivirals, um, just a tip I got, like, not a doctor, I'm not a herbologist, just something I've, you know, heard, and, um, you know, those things are the things that I've been taking to boost my immune system, and also just, um, reconnecting with friends, texting, calling my parents more often, um, stop scrolling, stop scrolling on the feeds of TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and whatever else and news. Um, because A, 
you become desensitized to it and B it's just overwhelming and I think we need to pause and look at the positives as a woman and I know talking to my coworkers who are also women what we love and we hope comes out of this is that the six feet apart in line stays I don't know about you guys but I hate it when I got a creepy ass dude up on top of me in my space and I keep moving and he just gets in my space I hate that. As an empath, I hate being in people's bubbles and I hate people being in my bubble. And I can tell you now that I've, you know, acclimated to the new normal, the new normal, um, I can go out. <laughs> I can go to the grocery store without like feeling like I'm going to have a panic attack. I can, you know, wait in lines without feeling like Oh my gosh, this person is going to like grope me, grab me, touch me. Ugh, ugh, gross. So, you know what? I hope they keep those. I cannot stand lines. I cannot stand it when people are like in my space. And I got to say, I love it. I love <laughs> that people have to stand six feet back. I have this woman. I was at the checkout line and I'm getting rung up and she comes with her cart right next to me and starts unloading and I look at her and I go excuse me you need to be six feet behind me do you see that that tape you need to be over there cash guy like he the register guy he kind of snickered uh, yeah I mean come on people like let's have some respect and even if you don't believe in it you know the people who are working have some respect for them and wear a face mask out you know that's just all you know <laughs> one more rant, one more rant. As a worker who is working during this time, uh, we have customers come in and be like, oh, uh, you don't have hand sanitizer for us? Uh, no, we ran out, just like everywhere else. I mean, do you think we exist in a bubble? Uh, you know, oh, you guys don't care about us. No, bring your own. Bring your own hand sanitizer. Bring your own gloves. Wear a mask, please. It's not for you. It's for us workers who are working and putting our lives on the line and um hopefully it doesn't get me in trouble because i didn't say where i work but you know we're not getting hazard pay or compensated for seeing the public at this time you know we are told you know when what everyone says is we're lucky to have a job and you know i am and we are lucky and um hopefully i don't get in trouble for saying that but you know it's Let's have some respect, you know. Let's have some respect for people. Um, respect people's boundaries. Respect people's space at this time. Uh, and I know that, like, anyone and everyone watching this, you probably already do. Probably a lot of people who watch this are empaths and, you know, understand what it is like to be an empath out in the world. And, yeah, the struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. I am, like, covered in head-to-toe tourmaline. I haven't worn my tourmaline. I've been um, not wearing jewelry because I know that, um, you know, they say don't wear bracelets, don't wear watches, don't wear rings. You know, it collects a lot of <sighs> germs. But I'm in my house, so I put on my beads today and I have to show you guys this amazing amazing ring um that this amazing woman her name's Denise she has this cute little like online company she does um she goes to the like first Fridays here in Phoenix and um like she was at the Cajun festival I think that's what it was um in Mesa or somewhere She's at um, tribucreations.com. Like, seriously, you guys, like, check her out. Like, I love her jewelry. It's so unique, and it's all super comfortable, and I love it, love it, love it. Um, so, I don't know. I wasn't going to do a reading today, but, you know, I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it. So, let's see with a three card spread what we have to expect
And the next, um, you know, what can the cards tell us about the collective consciousness of the United States at this time? And I know it's different everywhere. Like, I'm just so glad I'm not on the East Coast right now. It's not bad being on lockdown, which we're not in Arizona. We're not, but it's not bad being, you know, told to stay home in beautiful, sunny, gorgeous weather and getting to go out and walk your dog and walk your dog and go to the pool, go take a hike. Boys Thompson Abatorium out in Globe is still open. Um, they say they take reservations. They just, you know, they're limiting the number of people in to allow for social distancing, but so gorgeous right now you guys if you can go like i recommend it get out of the city go take a hike take a walk in nature it is absolutely beautiful next week it's going to be in the 90s here so pool time is coming right around the corner here So first my dad came out to visit and then my cousin, she's out here working right now. And um, so it was really nice. I got to see family before the chaos. Well, my dad I got to see before he got back right when, right before everything like started going crazy. The world started going crazy. And then my cousin, um, we had a little time before things started to go a little haywire, but I didn't get to, like, show her all the cool, fun things that Phoenix has to offer, like I wanted to, but, um, I did get to teach her how to read some cards, and I bought her her first deck, which is super exciting, so that's how, you know, I've been reconnecting with family, um, and keeping some balance in my life, um, so, yeah. Okay, so I see, I got the Four of Swords Truce, which to me kind of seems like ushering in the Age of Aquarius, ushering in the feminine, ushering in, um, you know, a new way of living, a new way of being, which is more, you know, local, more community-based, and more, um, you know, home-based, honestly, like working from home, and because I see that this is, we're going to change. Our structure of our society is going to change. People who can work from home are going to work from home. This is like the perfect opportunity for big businesses to usher in AI, but I see that this is the truth. I don't think it's going to happen as quickly as we, some of us hope. Um, I have indolence. So, to me, this states that we're still going to overindulge as a nation. We're still going to overconsume. I mean, let's think about it. We're all getting a much needed reset. We are getting rest. We are getting, you know, time to reconnect with our families. Mother Earth is getting time to breathe and to clean herself. Animals are getting time to live. This has really showed us that humans are not the only lives that matter. Mother Earth matters. Plants, animals, greenery matters. We are all one and we all matter and... We've been way out of balance. We've been way too focused on consumerism. We've been way too focused on the wrong things, honestly. Um, and it's hard and it's scary because 
you know, especially in the United States, we are told we only matter based on what college we went to, what car we drive, what career we have. But look, look who's essential right now. The people who are essential are truck drivers. They are um, grocery store clerks. They are um, farmers. Farmers are very, very essential, and we don't thank them. My grandparents are farmers, and it's very, very hard work. And without farmers, we wouldn't be able to eat and enjoy the lives we enjoy, and we'd have to go kill our own food and pluck our own chickens. And no, thank you. I'm good. Um, and do like backbreaking labor. So you know, we have to give thanks to the farmers. They make our lives so much easier. And think of all the government agencies, the people working in unemployment offices who are still working and um, courthouses who are still open and working and making sure that people who unfortunately are in bad situations can get, you know, their orders of protections and people who work for food assistance and family assistance, you can still go get your benefits. And um, who else? Of course, doctors and nurses have to thank them I mean I'm glad they're getting the thanks that they deserve they do work very hard I could not imagine like I hate wearing my mask like I don't know how they do it for 12 hours without taking it off Ugh, ugh. my heart goes out to them and to um, any other essential workers call call centers people who are working right now and keeping society going and keeping things running so that those of us who can work from home or those of us who are working, you know, let's thank our baristas who are still working. That's very important. We still need our coffee. <laughs> um, who else? I had it and I totally forgot. Mm, it will come to me. But anyway, our final card is the priestess. I mean... She is telling us we know what to do. Like, we really need to go within. We really need to um, reconnect with our divinity. We need to reconnect with our higher selves. It's really time, you guys. It's really time. Like, all of the noise, all of the consumerism, what kind of car you drive, all of that BS is just BS. Relationships, family, um, friends, your home, those things, those things are important, you know. Yeah, I'm just like the next person, like, pff, I know we got to hustle, like, I've got to hustle, but, you know, we really do need some balance in our lives, and, you know, as much as I, in my 20s, I got told all the time, you need to meditate, you need to meditate. Ugh, I hated that. Don't tell me to meditate. <laughs> Do not tell me to meditate. But you know what? We need to meditate. I need to meditate. I've been meditating um, a lot more <laughs> recently. We need to, like, we need to get out of our brains into our hearts. Like, now is the time. Um, we really do need to be heart centered and have compassion for ourselves. It's okay. It's okay. Um, if we're depressed, if we're scared, if we are, you know, having a hard time getting along with our families, we have been out of balance for so long. It's hard. It's hard to, you know, go from go, 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 consume, 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 to, oh, like, we can't just go to the store, and we can't just walk into any place, and we can't just, you know, now is the time to pick up a hobby, color, read, um, like, right now, like, I'm so excited, I am reading my favorite author, she has her second book out, I love The Night Circus, that is, like, my new favorite book, but she has now, it's Erin, 
Morgenstern, and she has the Starless Sea, and oh my gosh, I love this book so much. Oh. Um, so I've been reading and taking my dog for walks, even though she doesn't like to walk around my neighborhood. Like, if we go hiking, she'll hike, she'll walk, but <laughs> um, around here, I don't know. Like, we get to the corner, and she's, like, pulling me. She wants to come back home. She misses her brothers, I guess. Um, but yeah, like, cook, like, cooking is amazing, like, I don't cook enough, my cousin's like, I'll teach you how to cook, I'm like, I know how to cook, I just, ugh. you know, it's not really my favorite, so I understand, like, that's not your jam, it's not mine either, um, you know, whatever, whatever project you've been putting off, like, do it, like, now's the time, like, don't get sucked down the feed of, you know, news feed, and don't get sucked into TV or uh, Netflix or whatever, like, I feel like now is not the time to distract ourselves, um, a little bit of distraction is good, but I feel like now is the time to, um, meditate to write keep a dream journal start a dream journal like that's so important um keep a daily journal start running you know start exercising start dancing like have dance parties in your living room or your kitchen or whatever um you know i think it's really time to look on the positive side of this and um you know, the people who are still working full-time, thank you. Like, thank you. I know you're terrified. Um, it's terrifying. So, um, yeah. I send everyone my love and wish you all well. And, you know, take this time to go within and get balanced. I know I am trying. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.